Now let's talk a little bit about the brush menu and the brush categories. Over here on the left in the top is our brush selector. If we click on this, then we can see our brush libraries, our recent brushes, all of our brush categories, which we can scroll through. And the brush categories are different kinds of media, such as markers and acrylics and chalk, pastel and crayons and so on. And then within each of these categories, you have what are called brush variants or the different kinds of brushes. So this is chalk, pastel and crayons, but then you have a basic crayon. You can see a preview of what that brush is gonna look like down here at the bottom. So you can see that these brushes share some similarities and that they're the same kind of media, but each brush looks different and gives you some different effects. Now these little previews that they show you down on the bottom aren't necessarily representative of everything that you can do with that brush. It's actually pretty subjective, so you may want to select some of these brushes and do some test strokes with them to see what they can really do. We're going to talk about brushes in a lot more detail later, but for now I just kind of want to show you how you can find brushes and play with them. There are also other brush libraries, so you can go back to older collections of brushes that were available in older versions of Painter. Occasionally some brushes get kind of demoted and so they're not gone altogether. They're just in a different library. If you want to be using the most current brushes, you'll want to have the Corel Painter 2019 library selected. So let's go ahead and try this chunky oil pastel. Let's pick a different color that we can see, like this pinkish color, and we can draw with this brush. If we compare that to another brush or another variant that's in that same category, let's try basic crayons. And you can see it looks a lot different. This actually kind of tints the layers underneath, whereas the other one is opaque and covers it up. Now what's important is that you keep in mind that you're working digitally, so this is not literally crayon. It's just something that gives you kind of a crayon effect when you're drawing. So don't feel like you can't draw with crayon on top of oil or on top of watercolor or something like that. You can mix media together as much as you want. These brushes are just giving the look or the effect that you want, but there are very few limitations on how you can use them and combine them. Another thing I'll mention is don't feel like you have to do just a watercolor painting or just an oil painting or just an acrylic painting. If that's your goal and you want to do that, that's fine. But for me personally, I just use the right tool for the job and I kind of ignore the different media for the most part. I don't care if it's an acrylic brush. I think about it more like, for example, this might be a brush that's good for creating leaves on trees. Or maybe this is a brush that works really well for creating distant water. So the category of brushes and the media that it's simulating are not necessarily limitations on what you can create. I recommend that you spend some time experimenting with these brushes. This will give you a really good idea of what Corel Painter can do. I wouldn't worry so much about creating finished artwork or anything like that. Just test the brushes and play a little bit. One thing I will recommend is that you go ahead and go to the window menu and then choose brush selector panel. And that will pop up the brush selector in its own panel that'll stay fixed on the screen. Then you can really quickly go through here and select different brushes. And then you can experiment to see what they'll do. Now, some brushes are only blenders, they don't add paint. So for instance, I selected this Artist Oils Dry Palette Knife. If I paint with that on a blank area of the canvas, it's not gonna do anything. It will only work if I'm painting on top of paint that's already on the canvas. So if your brush doesn't seem like it's working, it may be a blender. There are a lot of specialty brushes, which we're gonna have to look at a little bit later, such as the audio expression brushes, image hose nozzles and cloners and pattern pens and watercolor and things like that. So if you're getting stuck experimenting with those, don't worry because we'll be discussing some of those a little bit later. You can also look up here at the top and once you've selected a few brushes, it'll show you your last eight recently used brushes. So that's a good way to find a brush if you couldn't remember what it was. 